Hey, welcome to this new tutorial for Easel JS. In this tutorial, we're going to create a very, very, very simple game. So simple that it's not going to win any awards whatsoever. And in actual fact, this is one of the first things I ever created in Flash many, 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 many years ago. So I thought it was a great starting point for doing some interactive stuff in Easel JS. So it's one of those really simple games where you've just got to shoot the the spaceships by clicking on them as they go across the screen. We've got some score working over here, we've got a background, we've got things happening, it has a game over screen, we can click to play again. It could easily be made much better, but we're just going to keep it as simple as possible to get the point across. So the way that I've done this is I've started off and in my project folder which is going to be available for download, you'll be able to see this as a starting folder, a starting point and it's pretty much what we did in the last tutorial. So down in my body tag I've got a, a canvas tag. When it loads we're calling the init function exactly like we did last time. Our script is uh, linked to the source code for the easel JS. We've got the canvas and stage variables which we link up to our canvas and create a new stage on that canvas. Score just to keep a score at zero when we start the game. BG for background is a new image, the image source is there and we tell it when it loads set BG, set BG for our background new bitmap and we add the child of that background to the stage. We update the stage so we can actually physically see it on the stage. So let's take a look at that just to make sure that that's working okay and as you can see it is. So that's the first part done. We've got the image and as I say if you've not done the first tutorial we cover all of that in the first tutorial uh, with a, a different image having said that but same principle applies. Okay so I'm now going to um, create a variable here I'm going to call this uh, actually going to call it image properly so var image it's going to equal a new image and this is going to be the image of the ships actually. So my image source equals in the image folder and it is ship PNG because this is transparent in order to see through it so you can see the background space JPEG. And when this loads I'm going to call a another function here which is going to be called create ships because there is more than one ship so we're going to create many of them so we'll slide it down here and we'll do the create ships and I've hit the wrong key there oh, and again close the function and then we're ready to begin. Okay so we're going to create another variable image here and we're going to get it this time from the event target. So the event target is actually this because that's what we're is coming in. That's what we're targeting. And we're going to create a container. A container object is just an empty container that allows us to put many things into it. And it has got some properties as well which we can get access to, so it's really useful. And then in this container we're going to add it to the stage. And we're now ready to start looking at how we can add into that container lots of ships. So the way we're going to do that is first of all another variable which is going to be called L to start off with for length and our length, I'm actually going to physically put it in there, length equals 5 and we're going to create a bitmap list which is oops. an array and I need to make that array up here at the top so let's 
BMP list. So we create our array and then we're going to create a for loop and if you're not familiar with a for loop I will explain it as we go. So the first thing that we put into our for loop is a variable called i for iteration because it iterates through many things. It's a loop that loops through something and we start that at zero and we say that while i is less than l which is 5 so yes it is less than 5 we're going to do something what are we going to do well it will come to that in just a moment once it's finished doing what it does the first time around we get i and we add 1 to it so we get a loop there that we're able to work with so inside those brackets that we have here and here everything inside here will be executed while i is less than l and we're saying i is 0 and l is 5 therefore it's less than so it's going to iterate through this five times giving us five enemies so I'm going to create bitmap equals new bitmap and we're going to create a new bitmap from the image that has just been loaded which is the image of the ship now bitmap here needs to be outside here so a global so what we're going to do with that right the container that we created before I'm going to add this as a child to the container so we add the bitmap like that and then I'm going to give the bitmap a unique name and that's very easy to do because we just tell it it's going to be called ship plus i. So the first one is going to be ship 0, then the second one will be ship 1, ship 2, ship 3, ship 4. And we're done. Now remember computers always start re um, counting from 0 so it kind of becomes a little bit funny when you first start off with this and I'm now calling another function so if I try and run this now because I've not written this function in here it will uh, give me an error so it won't actually run but what I want to do is there's certain things that I want to happen again and again and again and that is whenever I die uh, whenever we, we don't shoot an enemy going across the screen or click on an enemy then what we want to happen is that the game pauses we say game over it displays the score where you are at that point and we can start again so I'm going to be resetting them at many times during that process so the point is I need to do that uh, here at the start when I create it and again at another point so I might as well put the stuff that I'm going to do over and over again inside its own function now let's set up one or two things at this point so let's set up our registration point for the x and y axis and so we do that by saying bitmap dot image dot width and pop it in like that let's copy that and paste that because it's just a few things that we're changing namely height okay Okay, we set the mouse enabled of this to true because we want to be clicking on it and we're going to put into our array which is BMP list here we're going to push that into there so that we've got a list of everything that we've created in case we need to do anything with it later on now actually in this one we're not really doing anything with it but usually if it's more complicated we will and certainly in future tutorials we will be doing great okay so uh, let's get that out and let's do a stage dot update just to see that and actually we're probably not going to see anything well we're not going to see anything because we haven't done our enemy ship so let's do our reset enemy 
so I'm passing in ship which actually as we can see here we're passing in our bitmap so here what I'm going to do is every time we want to reset the enemy we say canvas dot width plus math random times 500 now I'll explain that to you we're saying that it's going to be the width of the canvas so it's going to be right over on on the far edge of the canvas so on here it's going to be over here but we're also going to add on to the a random value as well so that it starts off the canvas slightly and we're going over by 500 so that we get much more randomness to this and we're also going to have a random uh, number for speed as well um, now to start off with actually I'm not going to be able to see that so let's have it minus to start off with just because I want to see them on the screen before we start pushing them across so I must remember to change that because otherwise they'll be right in there when we start and we're doing the same sort of thing here but this time we're just gonna create it so that it just does the actual height we, we get the the height value it gives us a random number along the height and now we're going to say ship speed equals again we're going to do math dot random and plus three actually that's a Let's take it down a little bit otherwise I won't click on anything when it gets going okay if all is right and I've not made any mistakes at this point we should see five ships appear on our screen and we do so that's great we've got them in next thing we need to do then is start making them move across this screen here so that we can work with it